it's Suzanne, and you're watching the Creative Space Channel. Well, not like space, as in like sci-fi, like out of space, but like space as in venue. Let's get to it. I'm going to answer some questions for you today. Um, I get a lot of questions about this one topic. And it's a topic that all of us actors deal with. Can you guess what it is? Can you? No? Nerves. Correct. Nerves. Now, all of us feel it. It's totally natural. Even Meryl Streep feels it. We get nervous when we have to audition, okay? Audition nerves. Now, there are some people that will tell you that nerves are good. I mean, if you're not nervous, then you're not doing something that you love. Nerves means that you really care about what you're doing and it's really important to you. You know what I say to that? <laughs> Whatever. I don't want to feel any nerves. If I could feel no nerves when I audition, I'd be a really happy camper. I don't like to feel nervous, so anything I can do to take the edge off, legally, I will try. So the, over the years, I've come up with a lot of things that work for me, and today I'm just going to share with you a couple of those things. And there are two things that anybody can do, and it's very, very easy. And it may seem very, very simple, but it really does help. I like to call them pearls, pearls of wisdom. Number one. Get to your audition 15 minutes early. I know it sounds kind of like silly, kind of easy, but it is. You know, when you're auditioning, there's a lot of um, anxiety and, and you know, uh, your energy is really, really high when you're in the room. So you want to cut down any kind of stress that you're going to feel before you go there. Because it's just going to get worse when you're nervous inside the room. It's going to make you even more nervous. So getting to your audition should be an easy thing. Map out the day before how to get there. If you drive, map it out. If you take the bus, then check the times. Because if you get there 15 minutes early, if you have a leisurely um, uh, trip there, then it really cuts down on stress. And let me tell you, if you're going to an audition that's like a commercial audition, um, it's happened many a times where, you know, your agent or the information that you got was just go there at this time. And uh, you get there and you sign in and you notice on the desk and on the wall, there is a whole storyboard. And on that storyboard, you actually have lines. Correct things you have to memorize and things you got to say in that room. And you weren't told that ahead of time. Sometimes it can make you panic. And let me tell you, if you just get there on time and they're ready to take you in and you haven't read any of that stuff, you're toast. <laughs> well, you're not really toast. I mean, maybe you can, you know, deal with it in the room. But why do you want to put yourself through that stress? Get there 15 minutes early. You get there 15 minutes early, you saunter in. Oh, lines, cool. You go take the lines, you go outside, you go over them, you run them. It's all good. And you'll have some time to spare. You can go inside the bathroom, you can powder down, get rid of any shine, you can fix your hair if it's gone out of place, which it wouldn't have because you kind of sauntered over to your audition. You got 15 minutes, it's all good. Now you can imagine yourself running in there. You're rushing, you're all anxious, you're all sweaty. You're concerned that they're gonna see all the sweat on your shirt. Not very attractive. You wanna feel confident when you walk in there, right? You wanna be all sweaty? And you wanna change your shoes. That's the girls. Guys, sweaty. You don't wanna be all sweaty. And for those guys that, you know, wear some makeup and some guys do, and I'm all for that, get rid of those dark circles. You might want to check that out because you don't want to look like a guy that's wearing makeup. You go into the bathroom and touch that up. <laughs> right? 
that when it comes to film and television. I know what you're saying. Well, that's not going to happen in film and television. Well, let me tell you something. Sometimes that does happen in film and television. When you're going into an audition and you're all prepared and you've got all your sides and all that in there, and you're on time, you're ready to go, and your casting director says, do you have the new sides? New sides? There's new sides? Oh yeah, didn't you get the new sides? Um, no? Well, there's new sides. Then what are you going to do? You're going to have to wait. You're going to have to ask somebody. You're going to have to ask somebody else to go in ahead of you. You're going to feel like a doofus. You know? And you're going to be nervous because you haven't seen these sides. It can be a very stressful situation. And that does happen. It has happened to me. It has happened to other people too. Right? Or you go into an audition for a film or television and um, you, you're about to go into your audition and the reader goes, oh yeah, we're not doing this part, we're not doing this part, yeah, we're not doing that part. You're like, <laughs> it's nerve-wracking, right? Or they say, oh, those were the old sides. We have new sides for you. Well, you want to make sure that you have that extra 15 minutes to prepare all the new stuff, right? So, these are good reasons why you need to be 15 minutes early. Once, I was rush, 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 rushing to an audition, and um, I got there 15 minutes early, and this was with a casting director named Blair, and I ran in there, and he's walking by, he's like, hey, Suzanne, I'm like, hey, huh, I, 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 I'm on time, and he's like, what are you here for? I said, it's for the blah, blah audition. He goes, that's at the other studio. It's like 10 minutes away, I was like, Oh, I went to the wrong studio. Thank God I had that 15 minutes. So, yeah. Pearl number two. Pearl number two. Number two. Anyway, number two. Kind of goes with the first one. Be prepared. Be prepared. Know your work. Know your scene. Know your choices. Know your eye lines. Get some coaching so you just can feel confident the day of, the day before. Um, you know, get a friend, do your, run the lines with them. The more you can run it, the better, in my opinion. Being prepared is the best way to combat nerves. You know, there are some people that say, oh, I don't, I don't have to prepare, you know, I just go in there and do it. Well, those people are bionic, you know, because that's, it's a difficult thing to do. Um, but for the rest of us, preparation is just a blessing. It's a fantastic thing to be prepared when you go in for an audition. You want to feel free to play and to take redirection. So there you have it. Two pearls of wisdom. Easy peasy. You can do it. And uh, if you do these two things, it will definitely help to take the edge off any nerves or anxiety when you go into an audition. So. I know I probably rambled on quite a bit, but I'm very passionate about those two things. And um, I hope this helps you. I hope you go in there and create and have a really good time because that's why you're doing it. You're doing it because you love it and you're good at it. So good luck. If you have any questions at all that you would like to ask me, just leave them in the bottom bar. I'll answer your questions for you in the next installation of uh, auditioning, questions for auditions, and um, yeah, I hope to see you next time. If you enjoyed this, share it, share it, like it. Yeah, like it and be nice, share with your friends, um, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Happy auditioning. Hey, are you a talented teenager who has a passion for acting? At The Creative Space is holding a wicked workshop. Check it out at thecreativespace.ca.